Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So as many of you guys know already, the Golden State Warriors were able to sign Kevin Durant yesterday. And now we're going to be going ahead and simulating the season to see if they can win a championship. Now, one of the main reasons that KD decided to join the Warriors was pretty much because this is the best chance that he's going to have, apparently, to win the NBA championship as quickly as possible. So I got the most up-to-date rosters that I could possibly find so KD is on the Warriors and so is Zaza Pachulia he is also on the Warriors Andrew Bogut got traded yesterday and he's already off of this roster when you look at just the other team to see how up-to-date it is Paul Gasol is even on the San Antonio Spurs so I think this is pretty much the most up-to-date rosters currently and we're gonna go ahead simulate the season and see if this team could go 82 and no. Now a lot of people are already saying that this team will go 82 and no, but we'll see what 2K thinks, and we'll see if 2K will allow them to go 82 and no, or at least win the NBA championship. So we'll go ahead and simulate through this season, and pretty much I'm gonna hit disable Q, um, CPU trade offers. We're not worried about trades. Just want to see what this team does. And look at this right away, 15 and no. They did lose one game, so there goes the 82 and no mark. But 26 and no, 28 and one. Um, look at this record, 30, 39 and 5 right now. So still a very good record. I'm not sure if they will beat the 72 and um, 73 and 9 record, but we'll find out. They're 46 and 6 right now. We're gonna go ahead and go past the trade deadline. This record is definitely crazy, guys. They might be able to do it. Look, they're 75 and 7. Wow. So that is the final record. So they actually improved two games from last season. KD is the MVP, averaging 25 points a game, eight rebounds, four assists. Just looking at this, Ben Simmons is the rookie of the year. Tim Duncan is the sixth man of the year. I guess they have him coming off the bench with Pal Gasol there. Um, Dwight Howard is the defensive player of the year. CJ McCollum always is the most improved player. And then Steve Kerr obviously is the coach of the year. But look at this team's overall, you guys. 98 overall, 99 offense, 98 defense. And then obviously the first team stats. It doesn't look like Stephen Curry actually made the All-NBA first team. KD did, of course. Stephen Curry is on the All-NBA second team. But I'm going to go ahead and I want to see the stats and see how everybody finished off the first year. So we'll go ahead and I think you go to, let's go to league leaders it is, I think. So we'll go ahead and see who was where. So KD was there, 25 points a game. Damian Lillard led the way. But Stephen Curry also had 24 points a game which clearly is not that is not bad at all. When you go to rebounding, Draymond Green should be on this list. He was ten, uh, six on this list with 11 rebounds a game. So still had a lot of people at the top of the list. Let's see where Clay Thompson was. He finished at 18 points a game. Then he had three assists and two rebounds a game. So Clay Thompson was still getting buckets as well. This team is absolutely crazy, you guys. I don't even know how... This was actually even able to, to really go down. A lot of I know a lot of people are mad at this trade. Or not the trade, mad at the signing. Um, but it, clearly he wants to win the championship. And I guess if he wants to do so, this would be the best situation for him. So let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs. See what happens. Golden stays up two games. They go up three games. And they actually lose a game to Dallas. But they're able to win in five. So, oh, look at this. A rematch against OKC. Let's go ahead and look at their roster real quick. Just to see, um, just to kind of match it up with the Thunder, kind of see what they did. They still got Russell Westbrook, obviously. I'm hearing he's not going to sign an extension, but they have Russell Westbrook there. Big Dolly Depot is there, and his Cantor is there. So he has a pretty decent team, but clearly, look at this. It is not matching up with this Warriors roster whatsoever right now. We'll go ahead and simulate this series, see what happens. They win game one, they win game two, win game three. And they're actually going to sweep their form. Oh, KD's going to sweep his former team. Now they're taking on, whoa, the Minnesota Timberwolves. We'll go ahead and simulate these games. They should be able to win this series. Maybe a sweep, possibly a sweep. And they are going to sweep them. So Cleveland and Golden State are in the final. That's probably going to happen in real life. But let's go ahead and take a look at their roster. See what the Cavs are looking like. So they have LeBron James, 95 overall. Kyrie Irving, 89 overall. Then they got Jay Crowder. I don't know where Kevin Love is on this roster. I don't know where Kevin Love is on this roster, but <laughs> he's not here for whatever reason. But we'll go ahead and simulate this one anyway and see if they win the championship, which they should. Look like they're in three, and it looks like they're going to end up sweeping this game. So, as always, I'll probably go ahead and let you guys see the um, final celebration because they should go ahead 
and win this game. Let's go ahead and simcast it. I should go ahead and win it. And his team is absolutely stacked, you guys. KD, he wanted the best chance to win. This was probably the best chance for him to win. Now, regardless if you actually liked him doing it or not for personal reasons, if you look at it straight from an NBA perspective, this made sense. I don't agree with on a personal standpoint of how you had to go about winning your championship, but some people agree with it. Some people don't. It's really, I guess, personal preference at that point. But regardless, a lot of people are going to be using this team in NBA 2K17. Definitely going to be a cheese team. And you can see why here as they're going to win a championship without even adjusting the roster whatsoever. But that is it for this episode, you guys. I'm going to leave you guys with a championship celebration. If you like this episode, please go ahead, leave this video a like. It's going to help me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace. That's it, folks. The Golden State Warriors have won it all. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer.